It's a rainy Saturday afternoon here in Rochester Hills, Michigan. Uh, hey everyone, it's Scott, and we are here in front of the Grand Tavern. It actually used to be in, in a spot where a Chili's restaurant used to be, and I'm aware I'm getting raindrops on the camera. <laughs> so I'm uh, sorry about that, but didn't I didn't pick the weather, but I picked the restaurant here. <laughs> so yeah, they have very good food here. I've actually eaten here several times in the past, and they got some great bar and grill type food so let's go inside and get out of this rain as a matter of fact I actually have a couple special guests joining me in this video today I made it inside and actually we're gonna do something special today I normally get like turkey Rubens and different things like that here but we're getting brunch today so anyway yeah, normally when I come here I get either their turkey Reuben that's really good and I love their homemade potato chips that they have here and also I think I've had their fajitas one time, and they're pretty good, too. And they do have a lot of food, so it's like, come hungry. But, anyway, I was trying to say, on weekends, they actually do a, a brunch here to where they actually serve different, like, breakfast items. They got, like, a soup and salad bar, kind of. Actually, actually not soup, sorry, but fruit bar. <laughs> so I'm going to eat some food on camera, and then actually... My special guests actually are here, they're just getting their plates, so I figure I do this little segment right here, and then we'll wait for everybody else to get here and enjoy. So, although I've been here several times, this is my first time trying their brunch, so this would be a nice experience. Okay, now I'm actually going to eat some food, and i got some special guests here joining me with this brunch today. we got George here, and we got Jennifer here as well, and as you can tell, we got some... Even I'm going to be sharing a little bit of a waffle as well, and it's not just breakfast foods. No, it's just <laughs> something, I don't know what it is. But, how, but the thing is, how does it taste? So far, delicious. Oh, good. That's good. All right, now I need to eat some food myself. So I'm going to sample the bacon here. Nice and crispy and tastes pretty good, I have to say. Scrambled egg here. Almost kind of kind of reminds me of some of the scrambled eggs I've had at, at a like at a hotel. Oh, very good. I'm sorry about that, but yeah, tastes like the good ones that you get at a hotel. So definitely a definitely a plus here. And got some of the potatoes here. Got a little bit of a kick to him a little bit. Yeah, it looks pretty good though. Alright. Alright. I think they're done being on camera, so I guess I'll conclude the video in a little bit, but I guess we'll... But anyway, thanks for being in today's video. Thank you. And thank you as well. Alright, see you outside. And we made it back outside and it stopped raining, so that was a perfect time to get lunch, or actually I should call it brunch. <laughs> Off camera, actually, actually got the, we all shared a uh, huge Belgian waffle as well. That, that was really good. But yeah, they've already taken off, but I'm, as you can tell, I'm still here right now. But yeah, that was pretty good for a brunch. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one thing I definitely want, want to try to do more often it's for when I go to restaurants that I've been to many times. Try some different things. But as I said, yeah, I really enjoy the turkey Rubens and their homemade potato chips they have here. That's what I get most of the time. But because they were all getting the brunch, I wanted to try it too. And actually, it was really good, I have to say. And then, as I was trying to say too, it's not just like breakfast signs. They got different different buffet-type meals there as well. Different like things with chicken, pasta salad. Even they saw biscuits there too, although that's kind of breakfast breakfast C, although that's not really a word. But yeah. I've had I've had a lot of great experiences here at the Grand Tavern and uh, definitely one restaurant to check out here in the southern part of Rochester Hills, Michigan. And then yeah, special thanks to George and Jennifer for appearing in today's video. So if you guys happen to be watching this, uh did a great job today and it's awesome having you come along for the video. So if you enjoyed this video or this video made you really hungry, 
definitely give this video a like or a thumbs up. For more Scum895 travel videos, definitely click that subscribe button. At the end of every video, I've links to my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram pages. Well, thank you for watching today's Travel of the Lights video here at the Grand Tavern here in Rochester Hills, Michigan. This is Scott Sending Out.